will tell you that um, I didn't have our guys uh, ready to go well enough, and it's my responsibility to put our guys in a lot better positions during that game and uh, didn't take advantage of that. So I thought we had some real good downs, but we also had some turnovers and, and uh, some mistakes uh, that shouldn't have taken place. And um, we'll correct those and get ourselves back ready to go. Time. Coach, what do you say to Chris Jones um, on that fourth down play? What was your message to him? I know it, it kind of like changed the game, but what do you say to him after an error like that? Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't, I didn't see any pushing or shoving. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, two, there were two guys talking to each other. I know that. It seemed like um, Chris got called on that, so uh, the, I guess the best advice would be don't talk. Coach, from the start of the game, uh, seemed like pressure teams uh, had a few mistakes. How much did that carry over to the rest of the game? Oh, yeah, listen, you, you know, in the NFL, there, there's, the, the parity is crazy. So any mistakes get magnified. Right. And that's just how it goes. And so we got to clean that up. we got to clean it up. And, and we'll get that taken care of. How would you just characterize the offense right now? Yeah. Um, you know what, I, I've got to make sure I'm putting the guys in a better position and get, get us in a rhythm. Get us in, do a better job to get us in a rhythm. And uh, that's not taking place. So, um, you know, we've got, to, we've got to go back and look at that. And yet, as you guys are getting ready to go into the locker room for halftime, it appeared that Patrick and B didn't agree on decisions. I don't know if it was whether to go for a Hail Mary. Yeah. Obviously, you had to sort of separate the two. Can you just no, give us your advantage? Yeah, no, there wasn't. I, I'm sure that's how it looked, but it, there really wasn't. I said he wanted to go for it. Obviously. Okay, for a Hail Mary specifically? Or? No, not a Hail Mary, something else. Yeah, yeah. Mind, but, but I thought it was best not to do it. So he was just, he's a competitive kid. You know, and he wants to you know, take advantage of every opportunity. I thought it was best just to let that ride there. But it really, if you heard the words that were said, that wasn't, I don't know how it looked to you guys, but it, there wasn't a confrontation at all. That's not what it was. How much trust did you have in Amendola today? Um, I, listen, I had trust him because he made it last week, you know, so um, uh, at a certain spot, right? And I wanted to make sure we, we didn't put him in a, in a bad position. He's a young guy that's just starting off here. So, I mean, tried to make sure it was the right, right position to put him in.